Aquinas College is planning to sing and dance their way into our hearts with their production of the Broadway hit Hairspray, being mounted at the Dundas Theatre January 30th and 31st. We're doing the musical um, Hairspray. It's a musical about um, racial um, issues that were um, very prevalent during the 60s. Um, it deals with um, discrimination in terms of gender, um, size, that kind of thing that are still um, what I call current issues that are being battled today. And um, discrimination is a big topic and I think it's a timely issue that we really need to address, especially when it comes to the workplace and that kind of thing. So I think this um, production is timely in that you know, sense. And um, we, we thought to bring that because um, the kids need to be aware of these issues and they need to um, focus and try to um, not be a victim of this sort of thing. And I think Hairspray really, really brings this um, message home. People can expect to see a big dramatic production of uh, the theme of racism, um, segregation, prejudice. So we're taking a, a concept or an issue like that and, and we're, I mean, it's a musical and Hairspray is a very well-known musical and a lot of people relate to it because it's so very well known. But on top of that, the topic of racism and prejudice is something that's still relevant. So these kids are, are taking something that's very um, interesting to them and very meaningful to them and then having fun with it. So um, Hairspray is great because they get to sing and dance and perform and tackle this particular issue in, their, in a creative way. So that gives them that opportunity. Finding the talent was a challenge for the small school. In Hairspray, there's a lot of dancing and there's a lot of singing numbers. And one of the issues was finding the right cast and the right talent for this particular show. And it's a school production, so not everyone's going to be musical. I mean, we don't have a big resource for, for the talent in terms of musical, and not everyone's willing to, to be on stage and do a musical. So we really had to work with a small group, but everyone pulled their weight. And I think we, we have something strong here, so um, I think it will turn out to be good. The kids are very talented. Um, it's amazing. Once given the opportunity, um, it's like um, a metamorphosis. It's like, um, like a, um, the kids just rise to the occasion. Persons you might not have um, really think were um, gifted in that area, all of a sudden begin to shine and blossom and show great potential. Um, like I say, these, I mean, Bahamian kids are multi-talented in terms of dance, singing, and what we call the triple threat, you know, being able to act, sing, and dance. And if you find kids with those three combinations, I mean, it's amazing. And apparently we have a lot of kids at the school that has that combination. And we are really thankful that um, the kids have, um, you know, really um, found it quite easy, you know, being introduced to this new genre of, of performance. Originally, I didn't want to be Tracy. I didn't audition for Tracy, but I guess they saw it in me. They said I was bubbly and all that, so I was just myself. Character Tracy Turnblatt leads the opening number. It basically tells Tracy's background story, um, how she grew up in Baltimore, how she wants to be famous, and one day she says, one day Baltimore will wake up and see that she's the star and she'll be accepted, that even though, how, even despite the way she looks.
muscles stop my toes, baby. This is about my name. Hello, my name is Seaweed J. Stubbs. Can I do that? I don't know, can you? Hello, my name is Tracy Turnblad. It is certain a fun time will be had by all. Well, Aquinas College has a reputation for putting on excellent productions and this one will definitely be a part of that legacy. And I believe that our students have worked very hard and they're excited about putting forth their product to the Bohemian public and if they come out, they will have an excellent, excellent time. Aquinas College's production of Hairspray runs two nights. Friday, January 30th, and Saturday, January 31st at 8 p.m. at the Dundas Theater. Tickets are $15 for students and $20 for adults. For Bahamas at Sunrise, this is Suzette Parker. We do music.